Let me see if I can get this again and show what shows up. Okay, in the top right panel here, you'll see the um, waveform, the audio waveform. This is the waterfall for the uh, spectrum being demodulated. And this is the overall band waterfall. Over here you see the signal from the previous video. And there you see the uh, wave, if you will, coming back, which was not seen on the other video. And you see it going away. So watch what happens. Uh, this, uh, this bar here is a tuning envelope, this vertical bar, uh, currently set as AM, using uh, 50, uh, 50, mega, or, nope, 50 kilohertz bandwidth. Yeah, watch the top uh, top window there as I move the uh, tuning envelope. And you'll note that at the moment the uh, spectrogram bar, the black bar all the way across the middle where you can see the wave coming in right now. Um, that waveform in the top right, as I sweep the tuning envelope, doesn't seem to care whether that waveform is in the, is, uh, in the spectrogram bar or not. The, also, what you can't see is over here, and you can't see them, I'll tell you what they are. The noise level at the bottom is about 73 de decibels, or minus 73 decibels, the noise floor there. The sharp, the top of the sharp peak when present is minus 14 decibel. That's a pretty big signal. What it is, nobody knows. I don't have a clue. If anyone can explain that, I would love to know. This is occurring at, um, let's see, the center on the display is 403. The peak is at 403.75 megahertz, roughly. It's just, uh, just up from, yeah, we'll call it 403.75 is the uh, right edge of the signal there. So, anyways... We'll uh, get both these videos posted up and uh, see if anyone can come up with anything. Catch you later.